true or false? Nudity is never allowed on YouTube. What do you think? The answer is false. While sexually explicit content like pornography isn't allowed, we actually allow nudity when the primary purpose is educational, documentary, scientific, or artistic. And if there's no nudity, but minimal clothing meant only to be sexually provocative, it'll likely be a Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube. Okay, hi guys. Well, whoa. What am I doing here? Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Shannon Beverage. Welcome to my Europe vlog, narrated by me at home in Los Angeles, no longer in Europe. Me and my girlfriend, Becky, went on a trip. Uh, it was a two and a half week trip and we had the best time. My focus while being there wasn't necessarily to make a vlog. I've been struggling with how to package it as a actual video because there is not like a lot of narration or like through line of what's going on. I thought it would be nice to just narrate some of it um, after the fact. So by now you should have watched a nice little intro package video of just some of my favorite clips from the trip, some of my favorite pictures from the trip. Most of the footage that you'll see I shot on a DJI Mini 2. It's like a tiny camera with a built-in Ronin. It's really small. It's really inconspicuous. It's actually pretty funny looking. Is this not the funniest little <laughs> camera you've ever seen? It's so little. Like, what? Hey. I think it worked really well. It was cool. It had a feature where it would like spin around and take video of you too. Cool. Although the monitor on the camera is so small, like this big, so much of the footage of me and Becky when we flipped it around is pretty crazy looking. We're in. It's been a long time since I've vlogged. Becky's obviously never vlogged, or I guess that's not obvious, but she's never vlogged. It was rusty. I was doing research into what kind of digital camera I wanted for photography. I'm trying to avoid film because <clears throat> there's a recession. You can get so much of the same effect of film with presets and Lightroom. I'll always love film. I'll always take film, but I will wait until I am richer to do more film. All the pictures I took on a Fujifilm X100, which is a really buzzy camera right now. People are talking about it. However, people are talking about the new version of that camera, which is the Fujifilm X100 
V. So mine's the first generation of that camera. Anyway, my camera was great. Love it. It doesn't have a lot of the fancy stuff, obviously, the new camera has because it's 10 years old. And the video is bad, really bad on that camera. I didn't know it was so bad and I did film some video on that camera. Here's an example of what that looked like. And I thought it looked really bad. So I used this effect to try to like make it look intentionally bad. So if you see more of that video throughout, I'm not just trying to be like a cool girl and make it look like super eight. No, I mean, I am. That's true too. Let's get back to the trip. We went to Rome. We're in Rome, right? <laughs> I feel like I look nerdy. You don't look nerdy, you look cute. Hey now, hey now, this is what you Oh wait, I have to save that for the trip like that. Yeah, what are you doing? Hey now, hey now. I'm in Rome with my best friend. I'm good. This is what dreams are made of. Dreams! Oh, my butt's wet. My butt's wet. Okay, my butt's wet. This is it? This is the pier. Holy. I know. Holy. Up. Let me see your camera. Ooh. Ooh. Where are we going? Coliseum. Is that it? The Coliseum? Where are we? Why? Yeah, that's the Coliseum. <laughs> are you not entertained? At this point, we'd been awake for like no joke 30 hours. So we went back and took a nap and then went back out for the night. But we were only in Rome for 24 hours. Yeah. We're in Rome. We went to Sardinia. Show, show me the room. That's what she said. And you know what? I, what was that? Okay, James. Here we have the bed. This <laughs> controls. Actually, I'm not sure. Oh, that. Oh, look at that. That's look at that. High tech. No need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's right it's in right the room. Here. If you wake up in the middle of the night and you need a shower, how's that? <laughs> so tired. It sounded so hard. You are a liar, actress, go the out. We went to Palermo. Okay, I just want to quickly brag about the home exchange we stayed in in Palermo because it was iconic and like the biggest apartment ever. And I feel like not a lot of people know about home exchange. This is not sponsored. I'm just letting you guys know. It's kind of like Airbnb, but it works on like a point system too. So I think we ended up uh, staying in this place for free for three nights free, but with points. Anyway, we had to take care of a cat. That was funny. And the cat loved me, uh, as cats usually do love people who are allergic to them. Palermo. Show that. You gotta. That was cool. So cool. <laughs> One thing Europe does right that I feel like we don't do the same in America is Airbnb experiences. Definitely traveling abroad. <laughs> this day we went on a boat and we were just with like the owners of the boat hanging out and it was great. You're gonna miss us. Split. Fuck. We're in Croatia. Right? Yeah. Split. 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 So 
Who is that hot girl? Venice. We're in Venice. This is St. Marco Square. God, dang, it's bright. It's done, right? It's gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. And Lisbon. I'm honestly bummed we didn't film more in Portugal because I loved it so much. This was a day we went on a like Jeep tour to Sintra and got to look at like some castle vibes. A uh, big cave energy going on at this particular one. Yeah, but I do wish I filmed more because it was so fun and we loved it, but <laughs> this is like all I have, so sorry. Stunning though, so stunning. <laughs> Where are we? Great question. <laughs> well, we're it, in... Wait, what's this beach called? It means dagger. Uh, uh, agrada? 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 Praia? Praia de they, Agrado. Yeah, I go in Anyone cultured. from Portugal is gonna please, watch us and be like, please. Nice. Rip us and So, is that corn? I don't know. Corn? <laughs> so crazy like the feeling you get when you look down I know, it's like reset. it makes me like spin we are at the western most point of europe that's right right yeah 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 what about that <laughs> yeah yeah you know what's over there america <laughs> right yeah or is it south america no it's america no i know but like what's exactly west of here america I see what you're saying, but it's America. Anyway, I was right the first time. And that's all. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. And you may have noticed by the lack of continuity on this YouTube channel, I have been struggling to share things online in a way that I used to for many reasons. I think obviously the pandemic, well, what was that? You know, I mean, it still, it still is. There's a global health crisis. And I think it did a doozy on everyone. Aside from that, I was thinking about it because I was editing this video. I was really excited about the video. And then I was just like losing excitement about the video. One, because it was hard to edit. But two, because the internet has changed. As all things do. As all things should. We evolve. But the internet today is not what the internet was when I was really excited to be posting and sharing content. It's just a different little beast. I just feel like when we were younger, it was like a privilege to be online. Like you got to be online. And now it kind of feels like you have to be online. And that just takes some of the fun away from it. You know, did you see what so-and-so posted? Did you see this? Did you see that? You have to go see because otherwise you wouldn't know what to talk about with everyone else who also has to be online, right? I don't know. Sometimes I just want to disappear and never post anything ever again. And then other times I'm like, I love the internet. It's brought so much joy to my life. It's brought so many friends in my life. But then I'm like, I, I want to log off. I just want to log off. I want to find a way to joyfully be online. However that is, that's something I'm navigating. So yeah, just like makes me happy rather than stressed and sad and ju feel judged and feel bad about myself, compare myself to everyone and everything. Comparison is the thief of joy. So I've been told. You got to take care of your brain, apparently, supposedly. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Sing. I want to hold your hand by it. the Beatles. I don't know Oh yeah, I said something I think you'll understand When I say that something I wanna hold your hand
Good. Some highlights of things I wanted to talk about the trip. Homophobia, because I'm gay. Luckily, I did not experience any homophobia on this trip. However, I have once been spit on in Amsterdam, which felt very much like homophobia. Nothing like that happened on this trip. But I did get a lot of DMs from people that were from the cities that I would be in. Be careful here because people will judge. Be careful here. It might not be safe. I already, I think as a queer person, think that way everywhere I go. I live in Los Angeles and even here bad things happen. As queer people, we develop a skill to know when we are or are not safe. And I think sometimes we are wrong (laughs) in both directions. I would say for me, growing up in Texas and then going to college in Oklahoma, if anything, my spidey sense on if I'm safe or not leans thinking I'm not safe more often than safe. My girlfriend has never been in a relationship with a woman before. Me, I'm the woman. Bisexuals exist. Okay, thank you. But she doesn't have as much of that fear built inside of her It was interesting traveling with her because she was very much leaning on the spidey (laughs) the spidey gay sense of feeling safe and i was leaning on the spidey sense of feeling not safe more often than not you really can't help your conditioning until you know you get spit on in amsterdam and then you're like whoa people are sometimes mean i haven't talked to many people about that concept before so if you have experienced that with a partner, please comment below. I will say that Portugal was so queer. It was so cool. And there were like pride flags in the windows. There were gay bars. It felt very inclusive. We had gay bartenders. And like, it was very obvious queerness. It's not that I didn't feel safe in places like Italy, but the queerness felt way more low key. You had to really be searching for it, you know? I hope you enjoyed a formal introduction to Becky. Very pretty kind of informal formal introduction that is obviously always been something I think everyone knows I am thoughtful about ever since I had a very public relationship and then a really public breakup and then you know other public breakups they're very very hard they're very 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 hard I think it's a really complicated thing to traverse in whatever way that is, right? It's why the New York Times writes articles on hard launches and soft launches. It's complicated and we still to this day don't really know the consequences that public dating will have on us long term. Things come up years later that are still traumatizing or problematic or hurtful. Becky's also not a public person or like wasn't. So, you know, you're just, you try to do your best. You're trying to respect yourself. You're trying to respect your partner and you're trying to respect your relationship if anyone is doing that perfectly let me know i have yet to meet them and it's definitely not me i'm glad that you guys get to informally meet becky in this video see that she is a real living person with feelings and she's a sweetie and yeah she's my girlfriend so uh please respect her please respect me and please respect our relationship i can only ask that i don't expect that But I do know that I have some of the best followers in the world who have treated me with so much kindness over the last like 10 years. So I know that you guys will be great, but the internet is free (laughs) and everyone is allowed on it. Should they all? Probably not. Hot take. I hope you enjoy this video. I love you guys. I feel like the headphones are overkill. Although trying something new makes something that I've done a bunch of times before feel more fun and other than that i hope you all are doing well i hope you're healthy i hope you're happy and if you're not i hope that you'll try again tomorrow love ya goodbye